First of all, before I start this video, I just want to say I'm sorry for the way that I acted in the very first video that I had made on this subject. I was kind of just not necessarily pointing and laughing, but just kind of making light of the situation in a sense. And it was insensitive, and I apologize. However, I do think what happened following that is a little more crazy, and I still think that this is very very wild that this person will continue to do this. So for a little bit of a recap, especially since more people have been talking about it, Tanner Cook is a content creator that just so happened to get shot the other day whenever he was doing a prank against someone who was just not really wanting to take the joke. They didn't really appreciate the joke very much. Well, Tanner Cook said he was playing a prank and it was a simple practical joke and this guy didn't take it very well, of course, yeah, because not a lot of people think practical jokes are very funny. I hate to tell you that, I hate to burst your bubble, but not a lot of people think the jokes are funny, okay? Some people just want to be left alone. And it also is very surprising to me because yes, I do understand that it was a very serious situation and I am glad that the kid is actually feeling better, but it's still very mind-boggling and wild to me because his family just seems very unfazed about the entire thing. I don't know why I was looking up there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For some reason, his entire family is just unfazed. Like Jeremy Cook here, I think this is his father. He says, he, we need restoration. We need healing. And we need to come together. I pray for this young man and pray that he finds God in this. Maybe you, you should be thinking like, hey, maybe he shouldn't be doing this. If he wouldn't be doing this, then maybe he wouldn't get shot. Maybe your child wouldn't be getting into these situations if you tell him, hey, you shouldn't do that. Like, you're still the parent. I'm pretty sure this is the parent. If I remember correctly, I'm not sure. But And then even the grandfather, he, he says it's surreal. It's obviously been unnerving and some fear running in and out. But we live on faith and not fear. Like, okay, believe me, I get it. Definitely. Like, if you guys need prayers to keep your family safe and just keep people in or keep your family in people's thoughts then absolutely go for it 100 percent. i just i i really hope that what we don't see behind closed doors is that they're actually telling this boy to stop what he's doing before he gets killed along with all that the mall was shut down after the incident but it was reopened and then the guy was taken into court but what's also very crazy this kid wants to go out there and do it again. He says that this is not going to stop him from pranking. He, he vowed to continue to make videos after being shot during the mall prank. Are you freaking serious? He's saying that after all this, he's going to do it again. When, of course, I mean, it could just be like some crazy dude. I mean, oh, hey, look at the dude who shot him. Yeah, he looks insane. Did want to keep doing that? Like, come on, man. Like, look, I'm I'm glad that you are better, and I'm glad that you're, like, really wanting to get back out there and do the YouTube grind. You're obviously doing better than me, so, you know, take take what I say as you will. You want to do that again? That That's like me, like, going over to a house and, like, getting the shit slapped out of me all the damn time, and I get pissed off, and I get very upset, and I don't want anything to do with them. But then next weekend, I'm really bored, and it's like, well, you know what? I get slapped around some more. Like, what the hell, dude? One thing that I don't think that anyone really understands also, because a lot of people are talking about this and saying that it's insane. I don't know if a lot of people know about this, but Moist Critical, because I watched his video on it too, he pointed out a very good point. This is not the first time a prank YouTuber has been shot, or a YouTuber in general has been shot, because of failed pranks. Well, in 2021, 20 year old youtuber timothy wilkes was shot dead after his failed prank for his channel shot and killed for his failed prank this is part of the reason why i don't like doing videos in public hardly anymore i used to go around and do vlogs in public and do other things but now if i want to vlog and stuff then I try to do it in a very private sector because i don't want to be around a whole bunch of people whenever i've made videos with my dog I have went to dog parks and stuff that I know would probably be empty and no one would be there because I'm not really good with people anymore because people have pissed me off these last few years and it's just made me not want to be around anyone anymore. I want to show things that I'm doing in my life, but I don't want to get everybody else involved. And even though I can blur everybody out, not everybody knows that and not everybody takes it well if they're getting recorded. Thank God 
that this kid is safe and sound and you know didn't get killed from this entire situation it was bad the guy was obviously crazy take what has happened from timothy wilkes in 2021 who got killed because of a prank take also the stoke twins they faked two different bank robberies in california and then they got held at gunpoint mona lisa perez her boyfriend was shot in the chest if you're a pranking youtuber just be very careful out there because yeah you may be getting a lot of money and views but if money and views is more valuable than your life then you really need to get yourself checked because you got some issues bam 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 breaking news alert turns out that kid is actually an asshole ladies and gentlemen turns out tanner cook was critically shot but still is facing charges or at least potentially he could be facing charges i have no idea exactly but according to this article right here from the WUSA 9 CBS News, which is where I first saw something about this, it says that Detective Katie Mitchell of the Loudoun County Sheriff's Office took the stand. She said Cook was playing the phrase, I think you smell on the phone using Google Translate. Mitchell said Coley, who was at the mall to pick up food for DoorDash, told Cook to stop several times and tried to walk away. Despite swatting the phone away from his face, she said Cook persisted. Whenever people want to be left alone you leave them alone you don't continue to pester them especially doing something as annoying as i think you smell what the what the fuck is i think you smell what, what the hell is that i have no idea what that is that that sounds stupid as hell deputy commonwealth attorney anthony needham later alleged the added the alleged gunman to told cook to leave him alone cook was apparently as close as six inches away when he pulled a gun out of his vest so he was also pretty close as well. Coley was targeted, harassed, accosted, and followed. He attempts to get away from the situation. His client deserved bail during a hearing on Wednesday. He said Coley had no prior convictions, drug abuse, or cases of failing to appear in court. However, the prosecutor said the shooting was not justified because Coley shot someone who was unarmed inside a mall. The judge denied the bond request and believed Coley was a danger to the public. That may be. I mean, he's still... I mean, th this dude may may not have some mental issues, but I mean, if he was that quick to like not even call security or call someone to help him out with this lunatic, like, it, and he just puts out and pulls out a gun anyway, m might have something. I don't know. It's still under investigation, but basically, from what it is showing here, is that now the son is going to probably be charged even the father says i support my son making a life for himself and trying to make a living well guess what now he's being charged so i hope that that living is going to help him out with all these legal bills and all this other bullshit that he's going to have coming up because he's definitely going to need it. Some of the stuff I've seen on there is not my favorite, but some of the things I've done at 21 years old is not my favorite either. He's fun, loving, and at times a goofy kid. He doesn't have a mean bone in his body. He doesn't want to hurt anybody. That's not where he was coming from. Is he being outlander sometimes to get attention and views and build an audience? Sure. Guilty as charged there. Well, I'm glad that's how he feels about it because it, they clearly said that his son would not get out of this person's face and he egged on this violence basically like he 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 pushed it he pushed it so hard to where this person got so upset to do this i i, I don't get it man like i i try to find like the good in people maybe like i'm not really giving it a full chance and then shit comes out and it's just like bro like you did it to yourself I could see why everyone in your audience is saying that you did it to yourself because you did. Like, just leave people alone, man. There's other things you could do on YouTube, and I bet your audience will love you. Just, you you gotta stop. Like, okay. I just saw that it had popped up. I wanted to add that into the video before I ended it. So, anyway, bye-bye.